Ciao tutti, welcome back to my kitchen. Before starting, remember to hit that subscribe button and show me your support. Thank you so much. Today I'm going to show you how to make bachocca, the original calls for pork fat, which I will be using. But you can use butter. You're going to need 800 grams of potatoes, 2 onions, 80 grams of parmesan cheese, and two eggs. For the tart shell, 250 grams of flour, 130 grams of water, 30 grams of extra virgin olive oil, and 15 grams of vinegar. First, we are going to slice the potatoes and soak them in cold salted water. To do so, let's use a mandolin. To avoid cutting your fingers, place the potato on the mandolin, stretch out your dominant hand using your palm as a guide, and just go up and down. You want them very thin, this way they will cook evenly. Repeat with the rest and let soak for at least 30 minutes. This way some bitterness from the starch will wear off. Now for the tart shell. In a bowl combine 250 grams of flour with 130 grams of water. Preferably without missing the target like I did. And with a fork start whisking everything together. Add 10 grams of salt, 30 grams of extra virgin olive oil, and 50 grams of white vinegar. Once it becomes too difficult with the fork, transfer the dough on your work surface. Flour your hands and start kneading until smooth. To develop the gluten of the flour, roll up the dough towards you while pressing with your fingertips and form a tube. Then take one end of it and slam it on your surface. It's quite therapeutic actually, perfect to take the edge off at the end of the day. Do this a couple of times. Once it's done, reserve in plastic wrap and set aside out of the fridge. This way it will be easier to roll out thinly. In Ligurian dialect, bachocca means beautiful girl, and it is a dish that has been passed down by these beautiful and skilled cooks for generations. Peel the onions without cutting off the root. Point the knife towards the root and cut thin slices as close as you can to it. Then rotate it and cut across the middle horizontally. Grab your onion like a tennis ball and dice it with regular strokes, letting the weight of the knife do the work. Heat 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil with the pork fat or butter in a pan on a medium-high heat. You can add one crushed garlic clove for a little extra flavor if you want. And in with the onions. You need to soften the onions and let them absorb all the flavor from the pork fat but no coloring. It smells amazing here and a pinch of salt to draw some of the moisture out. Once soft and translucent, add the potatoes to the party and let them get some of that fatty flavor for about 10 minutes or so.
Don't forget to take out the garlic. Once this is done, let the filling cool down while we flatten the dough. Generously dust your work surface with flour and with a rolling pin, and if you don't have one, a wine bottle, start rolling out your dough. Remember to dust your rolling pin and the surface of the dough. In Italian, we call this pasta matta, which literally translates to crazy dough. Don't ask me why, all I know is that it's lighter than a regular tart shell because we substitute butter with olive oil. Once the dough is thin enough, about 2-3 millimeters, Carefully roll it around your floured rolling pin. Take a round baking tray, coat it with a thin layer of olive oil with some paper towel. And roll out your dough. Gently press the sheet of dough to the bottom of the tray. Break two eggs in a bowl and beat them with some salt and about 60 gram of the Parmesan cheese. Before filling the pie, poke some holes at the bottom of the tart. Press down the filling and make an even layer and pour your egg cheese mixture on top. With a knife, cut the excess of the dough and fold the edges over the potatoes. The rest of the dough can be stored for a couple of days in the fridge. Put more parmesan cheese on top for a golden surface Drizzle some olive oil on the edges for extra crispiness and flaky salt to finish it off. This will go in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for 35 minutes plus 5 minutes under the grill. After 40 minutes and a little cool down, this is the result. Crispy crust on the outside and soft and golden on the inside. Do one flip and do another, because you love risk. Cut one piece and check out those layers. Can't wait to taste it. Mmm, exactly like my nonna used to make. You should try it as well and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Curious about Ligurian cuisine? Check out my other video here. Until then, ciao e alla prossima ricetta!